Methaqualone, formerly sold under the brand name Qualud and Mandrax, was a sedative and hypnotic medication. It is a member of the quinazolinone class. The sedative hypnotic activity of methaqualone was first noted in the 1950s. In 1962, methaqualone was patented in the U.S. by Wallace and Tiernan. Its use peaked in the early 1970s for the treatment of insomnia, and as a sedative and muscle relaxant. Methaqualone became increasingly popular as a recreational drug and club drug in the late 1960s and 1970s, known variously as lewds or sopas, also soaps in the US and mandrakes and mandies in the UK, Australia and New Zealand. The substance was sold both as a free base and as salt hydrochloride. It is also a common date rape drug. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medical use and pharmacology. Methaqualone is a sedative that increases the activity of the GABA receptors in the brain and nervous system. When GABA activity is increased, blood pressure drops and the breathing and pulse rates slow, leading to a state of deep relaxation. These properties explain why methaqualone was originally mainly prescribed for insomnia. Methaqualone peaks in the bloodstream within several hours, with a half-life of 20 to 60 hours. Regular users build up a physical tolerance, requiring larger doses for the same effect. Overdose can lead to nervous system shutdown, coma, and death. Methaqualone was not recommended for use while pregnant and is in pregnancy category D. Topic: <inaudible> Overdose. An overdose can cause delirium, convulsions, hypotonia, hyperreflexia, vomiting, kidney failure, coma, and death through cardiac or respiratory arrest. It resembles barbiturate poisoning, but with increased motor difficulties and a lower incidence of cardiac or respiratory depression. The standard one-tablet adult dose of Qualud brand of methaqualone was 300 mg when made by Lemon. A dose of 8,000 mg is lethal and a dose as little as 2,000 mg could induce a coma if taken with an alcoholic beverage. Topic history Methaqualone was first synthesized in India in 1951 by Indra Kishore Kaka and Saeed Hussain Zahir, for use as an anti-malarial drug. By 1965, it was the most commonly prescribed sedative in Britain, where it has been sold legally under the names Malst, Malstin, and Renovil. In 1965, a methaqualone antihistamine combination was sold as the sedative drug Mandrax in Europe by Roussel Laboratories, now part of Sanofi SA. In 1972, it was the sixth best-selling sedative in the U.S., where it was legal under the brand name Qualud. Qualud in the United States was originally manufactured in 1965 by the Fort Washington, Pennsylvania-based pharmaceutical firm William H. Rohrer Inc. The drug name Qualud combined the words quiet interlude and shared a stylistic reference to another drug marketed by the firm, Marlox. In 1978, Rohrer sold the rights to manufacture Qualud to the Lemon Company of Sellersville, Pennsylvania. At that time, Rora chairman John Ekman commented on Qualud's bad reputation stemming from illegal manufacture and use of methaqualone, and illegal sale and use of legally prescribed Qualud. Qualud accounted for less than 2% of our sales but created 98% of our headaches. Both companies still regarded Qualud as an excellent sleeping drug. Lemon, well aware of Qualud's public image problems, used advertisements in medical journals to urge physicians not to permit the abuses of illegal users to deprive a legitimate patient of the drug. Lemon also marketed a small quantity under another name, Mequin, so doctors could prescribe the drug without the negative connotations. The rights to Qualud were held by the J.B. Rohrigan Company division of Pfizer, before the drug was discontinued in the United States in 1985, mainly due to its psychological addictiveness, widespread abuse, and illegal recreational use. <laughs> <laughs> Society and culture
Topic: <laughs> Brand names. It was sold under the brand name Qualude and sometimes stylized Qualude in the United States and Mandrax in the United Kingdom and South Africa. Topic: <laughs> Regulation. Methaquilone was initially placed in Schedule I as defined by the UN Convention of Psychotropic Substances, but was moved to Schedule II in 1979. In Canada, methaquilone is listed in Schedule III of the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act and requires a prescription but is Schedule I according to NAPRA. Methaquilone is banned in India. Recreational Methaquilone became increasingly popular as a recreational drug in the late 1960s and 1970s, known variously as «ludes» or «sopas», also «soaps» in the US and «mandrakes» and «mandies» in the UK, Australia and New Zealand. The drug was more tightly regulated in Britain under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971 and in the US from 1973. It was withdrawn from many developed markets in the early 1980s. In the United States it was withdrawn in 1982 and made a Schedule I drug in 1984. It has a DACSCN of 2,565 and in 2013 the aggregate annual manufacturing quota for the U.S. was 10 grams. Mention of its possible use in some types of cancer and AIDS has periodically appeared in the literature since the late 1980s. Research does not appear to have reached an advanced stage. The D has also added the methoquilone analog mecloquilone also a result of some incomplete clandestine syntheses to schedule 1 as ACSCN 2572 with zero manufacturing quota. Gene Hyslip, the former head of the Chemical Control Division of the Drug Enforcement Administration D, told the PBS documentary program Frontline, "We beat them." By working with governments and manufacturers around the world, the D was able to halt production and, Hyslip said, eliminated the problem. Methaquilone was manufactured in the United States under the name Qualude by the pharmaceutical firms Rora and Lemon with the numbers 714 stamped on the tablet, so people often referred to Qualude as 714's lemons or lemon sevens. Methaquilone was also manufactured in the U.S. under the trade names Sopra and Parist. After the legal manufacture of the drug ended in the United States in 1982, underground laboratories in Mexico continued the illegal manufacture of methaquilone throughout the 1980s, continuing the use of the 714 stamp, until their popularity waned in the early 1990s. Drugs purported to be methaquilone are in a significant majority of cases found to be inert, or contain diphenhydramine or benzodiazepines. Illicit methaquilone is one of the most commonly used recreational drugs in South Africa. Manufactured in clandestine, often unsanitary labs mainly in India, it comes in tablet form but is smoked with marijuana. This method of ingestion is known as white pipe. It is also popular elsewhere in Africa and in India. See also Methaquilone in popular culture Bill Cosby sexual assault allegations Drug-facilitated sexual assault